topic of uh, my presentation uh, is about uh, networks, network knowledge for the 21st century. Networks are way of communicating, they are nowadays way of thinking and way of acting in modern times. Actually, network theory uh, as a foundation of modern thinking uh, started uh, with the views of two prominent Hungarian mathematicians, Paul Erdős and Alfred Rényi. They started working together in uh, 1948 uh, and they developed a mathematical framework of functioning of any interlinked group of entities, so-called knots, and the links between them, so-called edges. Later development of this theory enabled us to understand material networks, energy networks, and information networks, giving us a very powerful tool for comprehending nature and the society. We are particularly interested in uh, social and economic networks. Economy is network by itself. It consists of producers, consumers and their linkages. Markets are networks also. Invisible hand of market is in fact a function of the network. Rationality of market economy is a network rationality and is always higher than the sum of individual rationalities. Until recently, economists viewed economy as a set of autonomous individuals that are linked via price system only. However, network perspective offers a different approach. Our education system, therefore, should not ignore the fact that uh, the more complex we are, the more we have to be interlinked. And sustainable development uh, also is a network. It should be also treated in a network perspective. Uh, if we want to create and disseminate a viable and constructive knowledge for the next, for the 21st century, we must stop using 19th century paradigm on isolated and optimizing perfectly rational individuals. There is a very good uh, quotation given by Hungarian mathematician also. He said, uh, whereas uh, uh, the 20th century was seen as a century of physics, the 21st is often predicted to be a century of biology. It will most likely be a century of complexity. And complexity is a consequence of network stru structure of the nature and society. So sustainability concept is a network concept. Sustainable development goals are interlinked, interconnected, and they cannot be achieved separately. Understanding the interlinkages among the goals and targets is crucial for integrated governance and policy coherence in implementing sustainable development strategies. Here is a pioneering paper uh, by Leblanc uh, about uh, sustainable development goals as a network and the targets which uh, linked uh, all together. This was a pioneering paper. In 2017, another paper appeared uh, as an elaboration of the same uh, methodology. The paper uh, is made by uh, Zhou and uh, Moinudin uh, and the point, quite a complex uh, image, as you can see, uh, interlinks between different uh, sustainable development goals. But the point is that this paper is focused on a number of Asian countries uh, and uh, their uh, network of sustainable development goals and targets under their specific conditions, including India, China, Japan, Korea, um, <coughs> and other countries. Networks are not only around us. Networks are sources of knowledge. In uh, November 2009, an online open source platform called Climate CoLab was launched by Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Just the 20 uh, clever people launched this platform. The goal was to crowdsource the process of finding solution for the global climate change. Now, this 10 years later, this network gathers more than 100, 000, 115,000 scholars. 
Most of us as scholars, we are interlinked in an effort to produce viable solutions on all levels using various types of knowledge, benefiting from a multidisciplinary approach. By now, Climate Colab uh, have produced, uh, all the participants have produced and evaluated more than 2,000 proposals for how to solve many aspects of climate change, local, regional, uh, national, international, global, uh, problems of mitigation, problems of adaptation. And uh, we are also expected to evaluate other proposals, not only to give our proposals, but also to give evaluation of other proposals that we feel that we may be competent for. And this is an example of innovative, productive and efficient use of networks for the global scientific progress. So the point is, and uh, my question is, how to educate students for it? Uh, there is a kind of uh, network-based education. Uh, there is a concept of network-based education, and sometimes it is said that teachers should serve as a network administrators. Modern knowledge largely depends on our ability to make networks or to join the existing networks. The more complex technology we use, less useful is our individual knowledge. So our ability, uh, where to find knowledge, how to make network, how to be linked and with whom is a very important for the development on 21st century knowledge. But many questions still remain. How to motivate students to join the existing networks or how to make new networks? Motivation depends on a simple relation between benefit of being linked, oh, sorry, um, this is B, and it should be higher than cost C of networks. So benefit of networking depends on, on the value of network. And value of network V equals n number of nodes, number of uh, components of network on n minus one. The more nodes are, the greater is the benefit of network. The more people are on the internet, the greater is the benefit of the internet. The more people are on the Facebook, greater is the benefit of having access to the Facebook. On the other side, we have costs of networking. We have investment costs needed for creating networks or joining the existing networks paying certain fees for that, and operation costs of maintaining linkages between nodes. The problem is not only how to motivate students, but how, students, but how to teach them how to behave in a network environment. There is, there is a problem of trust, how to find adequate sources and adequate information networks, how to comprehend the network goals is the network oriented towards uh, good or bad goals? It's a matter of morality. How to recognize the network structure? It's a matter of complexity. How to communicate with other network members, nodes? This is a matter of social skills. And a very important question, is there an authority on the network and who is the authority? Many more questions are to be answered, but networks are and will remain being a crucial component of the human existence. Networks are all around us and we must be prepared to obtain the greatest benefit from networking. We have to try to avoid all traps of networking. So educating students for the interlinked world is the only way to achieve sustainable future for the mankind and for this planet. References are here, all the questions are welcome. Thank you for your attention.